There are at least 62 known moons that orbit Saturn. Some are made of pure ice, rocks, metal, or both. Some have ancient cratered surfaces, one even has an atmosphere, and another could potentially have life. Many of these moons have been discovered by the Voyager and the Cassini-Huygens probes, but here are eight of Saturn's main moons. Titan is Saturn's largest moon and the second largest in our solar system. It has a diameter of 5,150 kilometers, almost as large as Mars and larger than the Earth's moon. It would have been considered a planet if it wasn't orbiting Saturn. It's the only moon that has clouds and a dense planet-like atmosphere. Its atmosphere is so high and extends to about 600 kilometers that it was first thought to be the largest moon in our solar system until 1980 when the Voyager probe discovered that it was smaller than Ganymede. It's made up of nitrogen and methane, organic molecules that contain carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen have also been found, similar to Earth's atmosphere that is essential for life. Its surface temperature reaches to negative 179 degrees Celsius, which makes water as hard as rocks and allows methane to remain in its liquid form. There are methane lakes, seas, rivers, and rain, making it the only other world in our solar system that has stable liquids on its surface. Enceladus was discovered by William Herschel in 1789. It reflects more than 90% of the sunlight that falls on it, making it one of the brightest objects in our solar system. This tiny moon is only 505 kilometers in diameter and can fit inside the borders of Arizona. As the moon orbits farther and closer to Saturn, gravitational forces open and close the cracks, or tiger stripes on Enceladus. There are over 100 geysers at its south pole that vent icy water particles from beneath the moon through the tiger stripes refreshing the moon's surface. Many scientists believe that these plumes of water ice are caused by a warm ocean underneath its frozen surface where life could exist. Rhea is heavily cratered and lacks a core at the center. Instead, its entire body is made of ice and traces of rock mixed in making it look like a dirty snowball. It's about half the size of Earth's moon and contains a very faint atmosphere made up of oxygen. Dion travels at a distance of 377,400 kilometers, approximately the same distance from Earth to its moon. It has a very thin atmosphere made up of oxygen like Rhea Many scientists believe that it too probably has an ocean underneath its icy crust because of the geysers that blast water ice in its southern hemisphere. And like our moon, it is tidally locked, meaning that the same side always faces the planet. Hyperion is the largest non-spherical moon in the solar system. It's shaped like a potato and it looks like a large sponge traveling through space. It spins once every 13 days on its 21-day trip around the planet, and it's tidally locked with Saturn and in resonance with Titan. The two objects speed up and slow down as they pass each other, and its odd shape keeps it from having a predictable rotation. Hyperion has very low density and a porous surface. Its weak surface gravity and low escape velocity limit the amount of impact ejecta and preserves the original shapes of its craters. Mimas is the smallest and innermost of Saturn's major moons. It's 396 kilometers in diameter and takes 22 hours and 37 minutes to complete an orbit. The Herschel Crater is a giant impact crater that stands out and covers a third of the moon's surface, reaching 140 kilometers across, with outer walls that rise up to 5 kilometers, a central peak of 6 kilometers high, and looks like the Death Star from Star Wars. But, Mimas is so small that its features weren't seen until the Voyager probe spotted it in 1980, three years after Star Wars Episode IV premiered. So, where did they get the inspiration for the Death Star? T. 
see this, it's very close to Saturn and the planet's gravitational pull slightly melts the moon's icy surface. It revolves around Saturn every 1.8 Earth days and has no atmosphere. Its surface temperature is very bright like Enceladus, making it the second brightest moon with an average temperature of negative 187 degrees Celsius. Aeptus has a very low density, just a little more than liquid water. It is the third largest moon orbiting Saturn with a diameter of 1,471 kilometers, two-fifths the size of our moon. It has a ridge at its equator called the Voyager Mountains that reaches as high as 10 kilometers and it's shaped like a walnut. Only 53 of Saturn's moons are named. Some orbit inside the ring system, which helps shape the rings. Some can take almost half an Earth day or over four Earth years to orbit around the planet. Some moons orbit in resonance with each other and swap orbits every four years. Before exploring other moons, we thought that all of them would share the same traits as our moon. Calm and quiet, with very little or no activity. Saturn's moons are a great example that many moons are different from one another and are very much alive. Thanks for watching.